The results of this method can be clearly seen in this comparison of two plants, one of which has been bred to resist the disease. The chemical ICI research station in Berkshire, the study of insects and of disease, has resulted in the production of a vast range of insecticides and fungicides. Insects are bred in large numbers in order to observe the ways in which they attack the plant. Each new chemical is subjected to a number of tests which will establish its effectiveness and its ability to remain effective in adverse conditions. This test will show the ability of the insecticide to maintain its protective power through heavy wind and rain. Before the new chemical compounds can be produced on a commercial basis, they must undergo a series of tests to show the potential of the product at varying strengths until the most efficient formula is achieved. In this example, the final formula has been used on the plant on the right to protect it against mildew. A new step Moffitt's farm was carried out, combining the overall requirements of a dairy farm with John Moffitt's own specific needs. In addition, samples of grass, soil and silage have been taken from his farm at regular intervals for analysis at the laboratory. A series of tests is carried out to determine the nutritional contents of the grass and the nutritional loss during storage in the silos. The analysis and measurements of the trace mineral content is of prime importance in evaluating the quality of the pastures and the silage. From these findings, the laboratories can make recommendations as to the type and amount of fertilizers to be applied to the pastures for their improvement. Although the demands of the British farmers for fertilizers are met by the chemical industry in the United Kingdom, so too are the needs of the world envisaged. This huge complex is producing fertilizer for export. Not only is the fertilizer exported, but advice is given on the use of it and on the setting up of similar chemical plants in countries throughout the world. To weaving of knowledge. <laughs>